thank you, Lord, for his Holy Ghost, miracle working power. Could you stand with me as we bow our heads? Hallelujah. Oh, Heavenly Father, we come before you the throne of grace, Lord Jesus. You've been so wonderful to us. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. The Bible tells us that in our gospel, he is hid to those who are lost. And when the God of this world has blinded that mind, hallelujah, we thank and we praise you this morning for allowing us to see, hallelujah, allowing us to see the goodness that you have done, the love that you've shed abroad, you, Lord. Lord Jesus, the way in which you kept us, the way in which you brought thank us you. out and brought us through. Thank we you, Lord. gather here together this morning to thank tell you, Lord. you, thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We owe you the honor. We owe you the praise, hallelujah, such gratitude, Lord Jesus, and we want to, you to feel from our heart as we praise your name this morning, Lord Jesus. Oh, we're welcoming you into this place, Lord Jesus, your own place, hallelujah, which is here, Lord Jesus. You call us out of darkness into this marvelous light to show off the praise, Lord Jesus. Oh, Lord, let our hearts be clear. Hallelujah. Let our worries be laid aside. You said in your word to cast all of our cares upon you because we know that you care about us. Hallelujah. And because we know that you care about us, Lord, whatever that is that we're going through, we know that it's going to be all right because you have that you can do exceeding and abundantly above all we ask. Thank you. Oh, oh, how a little mind could even think, Lord. So we want to be free this morning, Lord. To open up our mouths and give you the praise oh, that you deserve. We praise you, O Lord. 
Oh, yes. Glorify his name this morning. Hallelujah. So sweet spirit in this place this morning. Hallelujah. We can just stand here and just reverence his presence this morning. Hallelujah. It's such a sweet presence in this place. Hallelujah. Come on, let's worship him. I love you, Lord, and I lift my voice to worship you, oh, my soul, rejoice, take joy.
at this time, we're going to ask Pastor Baptiste, can he come run us a scripture in Jesus' name? Amen. Praise the Lord, church. Chapter 10, know it together. Verse 1 to the Bible to the third verse. Is it follow after the charity? No, no, sorry. <laughs> I want to read chapter 14. Do I speak with the tongue of men and the angel and I have not charity? I am become son of brass and tangle and symbol. And though I have a gift of prophecy and understand all mystery, all knowledge, and thou have all faith, so that I could remove mountain and have not charity, harm nothing. And though I have bestowed all my good and feed the poor, though I have a gift by my body to be born, and I have no charity, it profit me nothing. Charity suffer long, and, and is the kind, and charity, even not the charity, vanish, not self, is not perfect up. Do not behave the self unless the sick, not her own is not a self provoke, taken, no evil, no reverse. A first Corinthians chapter 13, verse 1 to the fifth verse, may the word of God bless edify into your heart. Amen. 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 If you love him, somebody say amen. 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 Hallelujah.
He has enabled us to gather here together to praise his holy name. Don't you know it's a privilege to praise his name? They say, what a blessing, what a joy to find, leaning on the everlasting arm. Hallelujah. Somebody tell him thank you. We got one more selection, I believe. I lift my hands in total adoration unto you. You reign on the throne, for you are God and God alone. Because of you, my cloudy days are gone. Now I can see.
clap your hands. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. He's such a wonderful God. Hallelujah. Now I thank him once again to give me the privilege, hallelujah, to bless his name. Hallelujah. At this time, we're going to call and bring forth our very own pastor, Kobe Abrams. Let's greet him with a hearty and thank you, amen, in Jesus' name. Can we just stand on our feet today and reverence God? And hallelujah. We, we haven't done everything right. But more than anything, we want to praise Him. I love you, Jesus. We missed the mark. We made mistakes. I worship and adore. We did some horrible things. Just want to tell you, Lord, I love you more than anything. Hallelujah. See, the Bible says, Jesus went to Calvary to save a wretch. Father, praise the Lord. 
you got the Holy Ghost, praise the name of God, and you got the word. And God said, when his word has gone out of his mouth, it shall not return unto him void. So whenever the devil try his best to get you below the belt, whenever he try his best to stop and try to block your blessing, he can't stop what God has blessed. Because take nobody first, but God has already predestined to be blessed. You ought to tell yourself, I'm blessed this morning. I'm blessed. I might have came in with some situations. I might have came in with some problems. I might have came in with some difficulties. But I'm blessed. I'm blessed by the best. I thank God. Hallelujah. My daughter, she called on yesterday. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The tire went flat. She's in Virginia. And hallelujah. I begin to hallelujah say it doesn't matter what happened. Praise the name of God. We blessed. We blessed. Look at your name and say, I'm blessed. I'm not ashamed of it. Praise the Lord. So we, she took the car to Firestone. Firestone. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I tried to indicate to her that she needed every type change. Is that all right? Look at your name and say, I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. Hallelujah. You know, sometimes they'll try to get you on a Saturday. And if you're a woman, they try to take good advantage of you. Oh, yeah, they'll, yeah, they'll tell you, you need a whole house and another house on top of that house. With two more houses to house that house. Is that all right? So I say, you know, tell her to change that time. Amen. And you drive on home. Amen. And she was so uh, interested in going out to do her due diligence that she is doing her internship in Virginia. And I say, this is a down day. Is that all right? Anybody ever had a down day? Oh, yeah. yeah, it's just a day. I'm not going to do nothing. I'm just going to be still. And I'm going to let God work. Is that all right? Sometimes you can't just do what you think you're going to do. you got to have a down day. day that you can just say, Lord, have your way. Lord, it's yours. I'm yours. Everything I got, everything I'm not. Try me now and see it. See if I can be completely yours. I want to say good morning. Good morning, everyone. God bless you. Certainly, we want God to be glorified. We want him to be lifted high. We want him to be magnified. Hallelujah. In our life. And we want him to have all the glory. All the honor, all the praise, because he so richly deserves it. Praise the name of God. How many came to bless the Lord today? Hallelujah. You came to bless the Lord today. Hallelujah. So you are right at the end of the fiscal year, six months in and now. Hallelujah. Praise the name of God. Get ready for the second half of the best days of your life. Is that all right? You should be right here. Hallelujah. It was a rough. It was a rough. It was a tough time. But you had to drag yourself on the job, you had to drag yourself when you weren't feeling good. You might have didn't feel 100%, but you went on anyway. Praise the name of God. God sustained you, and he preserved you so that you would be equipped for the journey. So we thank God, hallelujah, that the second half of the year is going to be the best half of the year. Amen. Do I have a witness? Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. The best is yet to come. So get ready. Praise the Lord. It's what you do for God that will Hallelujah. Please, God. What you do for God? I know we do a lot for our different companies and jobs and entrepreneurship. But what we do for the Lord, that's the thing that's going to last. So find something to do for God. What can I do? What can I do? How can I add value? Some people say, I showed up. No, that's not. <laughs> he said, I beseech you, brother, by the mercies of God. Listen, listen. He said that you present your body a living sacrifice. Holy and accept. That's your reasonable service just to show up. Is that all right? Am I preaching all right? Yeah. <laughs> That's really not no great uh, margin of success. But God wants to see what you're going to do for Him. Hallelujah. What program He put in your spirit? Hallelujah. What did He give you that He, hallelujah, that you can add value to the kingdom of God? It's a blessing, praise the name of God, to add value. Don't sit back and let somebody else do it. You, you don't pass it up. Look at your say, pick it up. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, don't pass it up. Pick it up. So, so many times we'll pass it up. And that ain't mine. That, I don't, that don't belong to me. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to. Is that all right? But I like Minister Baptiste. Hallelujah. He saw we needed water. Hallelujah. You know what he does every single service? He brings water. Y'all should be clapping your hands because y'all drinking the water. And he don't bring just any kind of water. You know, we can drink the water out of the thing, but he, he brings the Jeffrey Hill spring water. The fill it on the hand <laughs> Yeah, is that all right? I was noticing, I was noticing coming in the building, and I said, you know, hallelujah, how Deacon Carlos and Michelle, how they do their due diligence to keep the place clean. Amen. The 
those of you clapping y'all here. Now y'all think, y'all think that we just snap our fingers and it just looked like this. First of all, but they do their due diligence to come. Hallelujah. I'm talking about on a regular basis, not, you know, just come when it's a need. They come to make sure there's, there's nothing out of place. Is that all right? Amen. And then I was thinking, I said, I was coming in the building, I said, wow, wow. You know, Minister, uh, Elder Rankin, he, he donated steel doors for the church. Amen. He gave us the doors. Amen. He gave us the doors. Amen. He gave us the doors. Amen. He had the doors, hallelujah, at his house. He said, I have some steel doors. I say, you got, you Home Depot? <laughs> <laughs> so he brought the doors, and praise the name of God, when he brought the doors, I said, wow. Then he began, him and Dick and Tim Waring, hallelujah, began to hang the doors. So I said, oh my God, look at how they're adding value. Hallelujah. I always, hallelujah, uh, just give the Lord a hand praise for Sister Elizabeth Tom. Oh my God. She bring her grandchildren, her children, her grandchildren. And they be playing a good time, one of them on the drums. They be just uh, praise God. I don't know how he had that time in being so young. Praise the name of God. So I appreciate what you're doing. Hallelujah. Uh, I can't say enough about, uh, oh my God, Sister Judith Hill. She said we need a, she said we need a, we need to light this place up. Is that all right? So she took it upon herself. To buy the church and get y'all involved and give the church a chandelier. I don't know if y'all understand what I'm saying. I don't know if y'all understand what I'm saying. I appreciate you. So, Byra, oh my God. And he, what they do in that family. You know, we were doing third Sunday, third Sunday outreach. We stopped. We're going to get back, y'all. We're going to get back. So, this next year, this next half of the year, going to be your best year. Trust what I'm telling you. Praise the Lord. I saw how they would bring in the food and serve. Sit there and serve on their feet like they were at McDonald's. And some of y'all wouldn't even say thank you. And thank you, still serve with a smile. <laughs> and I've, I've had to wear bigger suits now because, praise the Lord, uh, Sister Paulette Brown. I, I had to go, it's a bigger suit than what I normally wear. But I'm gay. <laughs> I don't know what she's putting in them rice and peas, but they're so delicious. I can't get enough of them. They taste so delicious. And she have carrots. Oh my God. Potatoes. Oh, shrimp. I almost, I sinned. I was eating so much keep. I had to push this plate back and say, baby, just let me lay down for a minute. I'm sweating. This food's so good. Praise the Lord. Get a little hair braces for all of that. Um, I was looking at the grounds. I was coming up. I was looking at the grounds and the grounds outside. Hallelujah, being up kept and overseen by the Williams family, Mrs. Tangent Williams and Marcel Williams. They're doing a due diligence to make sure that I love. Uh, hallelujah, we add value to this community. Is that all right? Amen. And they have a hallelujah, praise the Lord, uh, a connect person that is hallelujah to deal with it, to let them know that's what we want. That's what we want. Is that all right? And then when I was looking at it, I was looking at yesterday, I was here all day. I said, I'm going to work with puppets all week. I can go to work. I can go to work. And my grandfather always told me, you got to find joy in doing the work. You can't find joy in doing the work. It's going to be hard for you to please God. You know, if you be working, you be like, what mama? She was, the Bible says she was in combo. You know what in combo means? She was multitasking, and she couldn't figure out why she wasn't getting no help. <laughs> and here go, here go, here go Martha. Martha, and she, she, she's in common, in, in common of many things. And Mary is sitting at the feet of Jesus. Saying, Martha, we are already prepared. Jesus is already here. Yeah. Now it's time for us to praise and worship him. Amen. But she couldn't see it, so she, so she looked up she looked over Mary and said, Jesus, you don't see what I'm doing? You don't see what I'm doing? And Jesus said, hallelujah. She chose the good part. See, it's a good part that you can choose. Hallelujah. It's a part that you can choose that's good. Yes. Hallelujah. It's a time and it's a place for everything. But it's a time that you got to, hallelujah, be still and know that God, hallelujah, he's going to bless you. So she chose, she said, can't you take away? I can't take this from Mary. She chose the good part. You chose all that ripping and running. You did that all week. Stay, take, take a minute. 
and, and take a deep breath and add value to worship. Is that all right? Amen. So if the church is worshiping on whatever day, the church is praising on whatever day, I want to be in that number. They were playing kickball yesterday at the church, Refuge right? Temple, the mother church. And mother was calling, and I said, oh, I heard that. It was so, so I told you, look, they had hot dogs and hamburgers. My son went. And I said, well, I'm going to have to skip just a little bit. I'm going to try to get by then. But I was up there, and I was coming in in the back of the church, and I saw the glass blocks. Not just any kind of blocks. Now, these ain't just the regular blocks. And I said, well, who can we get to install uh, these blocks? So the Ross family, this is Victoria Ross and Victor Ross. Oh, we're at AZ, we're at AZ. I AZ. AZ was, man, he was working harder than me. He pulled that, that um, scaffold around like he knew what he was doing. And helmet blocks. And I had a little twitch in my shoulder. I said, I mean, you ain't stronger than me now. I know I'm stronger than him. But he was towing those blocks up that scaffold. I said, well, I won't go up the scaffold. I'll stay right here on ground zero and pass the block to AZ and he can pass it to his, to his father. So give the Lord a hand praise for everything that God has blessed you with. Make this place place of worship. I don't want to miss it. My mother Mary Watts, y'all would be amazed what behind the scenes stuff that go on. It's, it's almost goes without saying. Uh, she's awesome. Now this woman here, these two women here, they keep me grounded. They know me. When y'all don't know me, they know me. Yeah. This woman here uh, that birthed me in 1968, she decided to push me out. She said, I was a work of labor. Out of all her children, say, I don't know what it was about. She was trying to get some free, free uh, debt button diapers. You know, you get it for both. Because 1968, January the 2nd, I, I would have been here January the 1st, but I wasn't ready to come out. She said, You was just, oh, you. <laughs> So I think I came out about 1203, 1205, something like that, my sister. But they wouldn't even let her get the diapers anyway. You know, they didn't tell us that But uh, God is good. Give her a hand, praise my mother. Thank you, that's good. I love her. And this year, I can tell you the countless amount of prayers that she's prayed just for all of us. And how she's humbly, praise the Lord, uh, in a position to where, praise the Lord, God is covering her. In the name of Jesus. Now, this woman here, now she puts up with me. Oh Lord, we was upstairs in the uh, balcony last uh, yesterday, and praise the Lord, I I was a little, you know, like Martha. I was a little like Martha, <laughs> and she was like Mary. She was praying, and I was up there, oh, just busting my knuckles, saying, saying some things. I ain't gonna tell y'all what I said. But I said some things. And I said, Hallelujah! It's all right. <laughs> yes, and I, I might have been off more than I should have been off. But I said, No. Uh, the Lord says, We more than conquerors. Is that all right? Amen. And my wife was trying to tell me this. She has a sweet way of calming me down, calming me down. So she began to pray. And I want to give her honor today. She be juggling. She trying to be everything for everybody. I said, you can't be everything for everybody. Let them, let them drag their foot through the muck for a minute. Let them see what it looked like. And she, she don't have that. I have that. Let me be a man. You know what he said? He's a man. He's all right. He'll, he'll get through it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She said, no, I I just don't like how she uh, she got a flat tire, and we can't do nothing about it here. All we can do is kind of quarterback it from here and give her the facts that, that she needs. And she's trying to, uh, her oldest daughter, her son, I said, no, let them get stuck sometimes. That's how my mother used to do it. Let them get stuck. They didn't realize I'm not going to buy it because he got Michael Jordan. Don't mean you're going to get no Michael Jordan. You can get some Michael Mason. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Is that all right? <laughs> Lower your, your feet cover. Yeah. So that'll get stuck sometimes. Yeah. You see, they can't get everything they want. Uh, and that's a blessing to show that type of love. Certainly, I do honor 
Hallelujah, praise the Lord this morning. My regional apostle, Apostle James May, Board of Honor, Diocese Bishop, Bishop Kenneth Grugel, Devin Mar Honor, and Bishop Geller, Bishop Geller, Jeff Davis, Senior. Honor these pastors here. Pastor Randy, you can come up. Jason Ross, the new life. Honor him today. Honor Pastor Victor Ross, his beautiful family. Thank them. Thank God for them today. And thank God also for Deacon Tim Waring. Amen. Praise the Lord. And Sister Cynthia Waring. God bless you. Hallelujah. Thank God for. Praise the Lord, brother, Carlos Abram, and sister Michelle Abram. God bless you. Deacon, Deacon Marcel Williams and sister Tangie Williams. Thank God for brother P. Hallelujah. And sister Myra. Yeah, the queen is here. I thank God for mother. Hallelujah. Elizabeth Taha, her family. I thank God so much for mother Paula Brown. Amen. And mother, mother Julia Peel. God bless you. Hallelujah. So much. Really appreciate you. Praise the name of God. Hallelujah. We had some areas of opportunity on last week, and I think we came together so uh, wonderfully as a church uh, family trying to get uh, things prepared for, praise the name of God, even our Sunday service, even here uh, on today. So look, our national, international convention is fast approaching. So what we want to do is make sure everybody has the information. So I'm going to ask if Sister uh, Cynthia Ross to prepare those notes Hallelujah. For our international, we have international uh, convocation. We have international women council. We have, we have so many things that we do in our organization that I want you guys to be abreast uh, with because uh, it's going to help uh, bring us to a place where we can uh, register early. If you're going to stay in the hotels, you can register right now and get your room and get it. Get it at a reasonable rate, but it's going to be at the Rosen Shingle Creek Hotel. But Mother Cynthia Ross Ware will give us those details. So please, if you can't go, you might want to send someone. Praise the Lord. Sister Judith Hill has information as well about all of our scholarship programs in the Church of our Lord. Give the Lord a hand, praise. Listen, your kids need scholarship funds. And hallelujah. We have people that, that has connection with. And can connect you to some of those areas to where you can actually uh, receive uh, scholarship monies for your children uh, as related from our different auxiliaries in our church. Is that all right? Because sometimes you're looking for other areas of opportunity, and it's right here. It's right here. Everything we need is right here. Please can say everything we need is right. It's in the house. It's in the house. Don't let nobody fool you. Praise God. It's in the house. And what we have to do is gain that information because it's key. We have a very uh, dynamic, dynamic speaker for today, Pastor Victor Ross, is our fourth Sunday uh, speaker. We thank God. Give a little hand raise for him today. Amen. Sunday. Praise God. I want to start back, praise the name, our third Sunday uh, with our, we want to feed everybody. We want, to feed, want you to just come to church and we want you to leave. Don't leave here without getting a, a good barbecue, rib dinner, barbecue chicken dinner, uh, curry goat dinner, jerk chicken dinner. Y'all see how I'm looking at Elder Rankin right now. Amen. Because <laughs> he's the jerk chicken of uh, the mess of our church. And we thank God, Sister Paulette Brown, and brings some of those sides so everybody has an opportunity to uh, participate. Is that all right? Amen. Next day, you say, this next, this is the last part of the year will be my best year. Best. It's going to get better all the time in Jesus' name. Oh, Sister Cynthia Ross Wearing. www.cujc.org and go to the um, add thou to it and put up whatever kind of donations you want to put in it. And our International Women's Council and Bishop's Council, they will be together and they'll be October 18th through the 22nd at uh, Columbia, Ohio. Columbia, Ohio. And it's going to be, um, they have 
reservations available and you can go to uh, the website www.iwcpoolyjc.com and register for that. And that will be October 18th through the 22nd. And I pray that everyone uh, participates in all the activities that we're doing right now in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Give a little hand, please, for our announcement. Hallelujah. Just to reiterate for our pledge, our cards, fundraisers for two million in two years. This has been uh, by our chief apostle, Apostle James May, and hallelujah, he is, praise the Lord, endeavoring to uh, have this complete in two years. And how many know we can do it? Add out to it. This is the best part. We want to, hallelujah, Church of Lord Jesus Christ, Absolute Faith Incorporated, of course, in Exodus 35 and 20 through 22. Then all of the congregation and people of Israel departed from the presence of Moses. Verse 21, and they came. Everyone whose heart stirred in him, and everyone whose spirit moved him, and brought the Lord's contribution to be used for the tent of meeting, and for all his service, and for the holy garments. Verse 22. So they came, both men and women, all who were of a willing heart. Do you have a willing heart today? Do you have a willing heart today? I want to give a high mind. Apostle uh, James May, our presiding apostle, I'll get behind on this. If there's nothing but something from living words that we can send, uh, praise the Lord, to show our support to our international uh, convocation. Uh, not international convocation, but our international uh, corporation, so that we'll let them know that we are we are um, on board. Is that all right? Amen. So take an offering in your hand. I believe when you sow in this ministry, I believe that God's going to bless you with a lot of harvest. I just believe that God will give you everything that you need. Praise the name of God. Now, God, he works in mysterious ways. So God will bless your, uh, your health. He'll bless your wealth. And God, hallelujah, is able to make all grace abound toward you. Hallelujah, when you give. So when you give, uh, not grudgingly of necessity, the Bible says, but God loves a cheerful giver. And God is able to make all grace abound toward you, heaven, uh, all sufficient in all things. God wants you to have all things and have sufficient in all things. So as you prepare to give, I want you to just fix your heart that you're doing it as unto the Lord. And when you're doing it as unto the Lord, that's the cheerful giver that God is calling us to be today. So as we stand today on our feet with our gifts, our love offering, our, our praise Lord, our donations, we want you to uh, praise Lord um, um, that's watching by social media. This is a, a very good opportunity for you to uh, be able to share in this particular part of the service. Praise the name of God. And we uh, just believe when you sow into the ministry. We have people that sow into this ministry uh, in the, all the way in Ohio, New York City, all over the world. Praise the name of God. We just want to say thank you for the contribution that you make uh, week in, day in, and day out. We just want to say thank you in Jesus' name. And those ones that are uh, in different uh, organizations, sow into us. They always sow into us for some reason. So the tent, they be sowing into us. I'd be like, wow, how these people saw us. Praise the name of God. And they I believe, are uh, getting a lawfully uh, harvest from what their seed is doing in living waters to follow Jesus Christ. So, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, we love you. We lift your name on high. Lord, we want you to be magnified. We want you to be glorified. Lord, in everything that we do, bless us to please you. In Jesus' name, Lord, if we won't get anyone today, cause anyone for to go straight. God, if we walk in our own willful way, Lord, we ask that you forgive us and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Lord, if we didn't do everything right. We missed the ball, messed up, made mistakes, Lord, we was inadequate. Oh, God, bless us, Lord, to do better the next time. In Jesus' name, Lord, we pray that you consecrate and dedicate this hallelujah offering, Lord, to the glory of the name. You restore, restore, restore to your people, Lord, in a bountiful way. In Jesus' name, amen, amen.
and they gave my mom a choice that you want him to be born on New Year's Day, so you get that year supply of Pampers, or do you want to have him today so you can claim him on this year's taxes? Oh. And my mama said, if you don't get this little joke out of me. <laughs> Therefore, I was born December 31st, 1969, in the Pequot. It was somewhere close to midnight when mom said, get in my house, induce whatever you got to do, get that little joker out of me. Give an honor to my family, hallelujah, Sister Victoria. Thank you all the girls, thank you for praise and supporting me. Thank you praise God for Mother Mary, Deacon Abrams, for Dora Elevation, Mr. Baptiste, and everybody in their respective places, hallelujah. I have a scripture that's located in the book of Ezra. Praise the Lord. I give you a little minute to find Ezra because we don't really look at Ezra that much. Praise the Lord. I'm uh, begin reading at the seventh chapter. And the sixth verse, six, seven chapter six verse. Yeah. If you had to say amen. 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 This Ezra went up from Babylon, and he was ready, he was already scribed in the law of Moses, which the Lord God of Israel had given. And the king granted him all his requests according to the hand of the Lord, of the Lord his God, upon him. And there went up some of the children of Israel, and of the priests, and the Levites, and the singers, and the porters, and the Nethanims, unto Jerusalem in the seventh year of Artaxerxes the king. And he came to Jerusalem in the fifth month, which was in the seventh year of the king. For upon the day of the first month began he to go up from Babylon. And on the first day of the fifth month came he to Jerusalem, according to the good hand of his God upon him. For Ezra had prepared his heart to seek the law of the Lord, and to do it, and to teach in Israel statutes and judgment. In that tenth verse, for Ezra had prepared his heart to seek the law of the Lord and to do it. Praise the Lord. In this dispensation that we live in, Jesus Christ said, I'm going to put my laws into their heart and in their mind, I'm going to write them and their sins and their iniquities. I'm not going to remember anymore. Praise the Lord. It's such a powerful few words that Ezra said, praise the Lord, that he prepared his heart to seek the law of the Lord. There are many who prepared their heart to seek the law of the Lord. Scripture quote, I guess. <laughs> The Pharisees, they knew the law backwards and forward, hallelujah. But this thing that we must choose has to be something that comes from the heart to do it, praise the Lord. There's so many who look like it, praise the Lord. There's so many who act like it, praise the Lord. But this thing has to be in the heart. You can sing so well. Yeah. Nineteen doves rest on top of that chandelier. Yeah. Start clapping their hands, crazy. How good you can sing. <laughs> but if it's not in your heart, hallelujah. Yes, the Bible says, he that search the heart, yeah. he knows yeah. in the mind of the spirit. Make an intercession 
with the saints. Praise the Lord. God, just like we watch TV every day, can see our heart like a program. Praise the Lord on the TV. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We know that at the end time, God is going to judge the heart. Hallelujah. Play back everything you had to confess. Praise the Lord. Every secret thing. But as we make a decision in this heart, I'm not just going to learn this. I'm not just going to be able to quote all the, the, the popular euphemisms in the church. Praise the Lord and salutations. Praise the Lord. But I'm going to do this thing. Hallelujah. Live this. Live this thing. Praise Hallelujah. Now get everything right right off the bat. Praise the Lord. But I'm going to practice in my heart. I'm going to do this thing. Praise the Lord. If I fall, praise the Lord, I'm going to get back to the cup and I'm going to do this. Praise the Lord. I'm going to run this way. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yes. Time we get discouraged, hallelujah, because we have a, have a bump, or hallelujah, or have a fall, praise the Lord. To give you a brief summary of the book of Ezra, the children of Israel had just been exiled from Babylon under King Nebuchadnezzar. Praise the Lord. And they left Babylon broke. <laughs> they didn't have nothing. They just went through years and years of slavery. Praise the Lord. The Bible says, once again, how God deals with the heart. The Bible said that the Persian kings, King Cyrus, King uh, Artaxerxes, and King Darius, God touched their heart and said, I want my people blessed. Yes, amen. I'm going to punish them enough for their heart in itself. Praise the Lord. I want them to go back to Jerusalem. I want them to rebuild, hallelujah, the temple in Jerusalem. Praise the Lord. I want us to get away from thinking that, hallelujah, we always got to have all the I's dotted and all the T's cross, hallelujah, for the work of the Lord to get done, praise the Lord. God put it in these kings, these Persian kings' heart, hallelujah, that whatever they need to build the temple, give it to them. Yeah. Praise the Lord. They went overnight from being dead broke, hallelujah, to, 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 be, to almost being rich, hallelujah. Yeah. Give them the gold, give them the silver, hallelujah, give them the temple, whatever they need, give it to them, hallelujah. And he said, give it to them speedily. You don't know what speedily means, they give it to them with the quickness. Hallelujah. They, they came from, they came from Babylon with nothing, praise the Lord. If God had it in his heart, hallelujah, I want this work done. I want them to go back to Jerusalem and I want them to rebuild, get back on the foundation. Yeah. The reason why you you ain't find this anyway because it got off the foundation. Hallelujah. To so go back to Jerusalem and get right back on the square. Hallelujah. How many people have fell off the square? Hallelujah. All you got to do is make up in your mind that I'm going to seek to do what God said. I'm going to seek to do it. Hallelujah. And watch God put you right back on the square. Right back on the foundation. And just came Babylon. She threw years of slavery. She, yeah. And God touched their heart. Praise the Lord. Gave them whatever they needed. They left Babylon with nothing until he signed the decree of a unique. Yeah. Charged it to the king. Praise the Lord. Ain't that a blessing? There's somebody waiting to support you. Hallelujah. But you got to get back on your smile. Hallelujah. What you got on your smile? Somebody waiting to do for you. Hallelujah. We are let us to make the power of God. Yeah. You know, we got to have our hand some kind of way. Lord, I ain't got to make a down payment. Lord, Lord my bill ain't working right. Lord, the landlord, he charged all that. Lord, you ain't got to have your hand. Hallelujah. Yeah. He said, I was supplied for all your needs. According to his riches, according to his glory, his riches and his glory is in his word. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We inspired them. Hallelujah. You 
came out of slavery and you headed to Jerusalem, you headed to Judah with Home Depot. Praise the Lord. Everything you need, hallelujah. And you're going to go and I'm going to give you men and I'm going to inspire them for you to do it yourself. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Give them all the temple. Give them everything that they need. Praise the Lord. And they began to work on the foundation. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. King Nebuchadnezzar had the kingdom told the temple told. Praise the Lord. And God, it's his will that you get back on the square. Get back on the foundation. And they finished the foundation. Praise the Lord. And they began to just praise God. They just begin to open up and pray. Hallelujah. They just begin to cry and wail. Hallelujah. Because they had lost their freedom. And God had given their freedom back. Hallelujah. And they just begin to scream and shout. Oh, Lord, I praise you. Oh, Lord, I magnify you. Oh, Lord, you deserve the honor. You deserve the praise. Oh, Lord. They just begin to cry so loud that they heard them praising. And the next time. Heard him crying and praising in the next town over. Oh, no joke was in the next town. Came to see what all this commotion about. But you know when you begin to praise God, hallelujah, when you begin to really praise God, I mean, when you begin to really, really praise God, I ain't talking about performing for God or performing for people. I mean, when you really come out of your heart and give God praise, hallelujah. And people started coming through trying to figure out what's going on. And we rebuilding the temple around here. That temple is a lifetime. Hallelujah. We rebuilding our lives over here. We're getting back on the foundation. Hallelujah. We, we got away from praying. And we got away from fasting. Hallelujah. We let go. And we found ourselves way out here. And God brought us back to the foundation. Give him some praise, God. We open up our mouth and we give him some praise for it. Hallelujah. Pray in his name. He brought us back. He brought us out. He brought us through. Hallelujah. He brought us through. Hallelujah. These people became. Hallelujah. It's the snag that we face when we purpose in our heart to do right. Building the kingdom of God. So people came back. But some shysters came through too. Yeah. <laughs> what you think? What yeah. you think, brother? Hallelujah. You open up a church building. You call yourself on the worship, they will shysters will come through. Hallelujah. They ain't said by God. They heard about that gold and that silver there. Yeah. And the three told you, look, you got three kings sponsoring you? Yeah. Oh, I know somebody up there now. Praise the Lord. They came through here looking for the money. And they said, well, well can't we help y'all rebuild the temple? Yeah. Oh, they was happy. They had that old fake cheese grippy screen. Yes, can we help y'all? My God, my God. Jesus. And that's what we saw right through. Right. <laughs> Hallelujah. But well, you know, when you purpose your heart that you're going to do right, yeah. God will show you some stuff. Yeah. God showed you. Hey, Amen. Y'all heart ain't right. Never said y'all ain't that college. Hey, hey, we good. Yeah, <laughs> what was y'all a hundred something years ago? Now all of a sudden y'all we good. Yeah. Praise the Lord. When me and June, we just said we we'll, we'll, we good. They sponsored us. What do you want? What we need you for? Yeah. Are you a common? Yeah. Can you do some little physical work? Mm -hmm. oh, 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 it, 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 oh, oh, you just worried about? Oh, you want to work in the finance department? Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you want to be out there with the money and ain't gone? Yeah. And they ran back to the king. Praise the Lord. That's you finally got one of the only words through. Lord have mercy. Ain't that something when somebody bring a false report on you? Yeah. They told him. They told the king, yeah, they over there building. They doing it. But check this out. Once they get the, the temple built, they're going to stop paying. They ain't going to pay no taxes to you. Matter of fact, they're going to take that land and call it theirs. And they messed around and got in the man. Lord have mercy. 
And the man pulled him down and shut it down. Yes, sir. My God, shut it down. Hallelujah. But some kind of way, hallelujah. I believe it was 14 years had passed. Hallelujah. Another one came through. We're going to keep on. Keep we're going to keep on building. Keep building. Come what may, we're going to keep building. Yeah, hey, come on. Whatever come our way, we're going to keep building. Yeah. I said that to say this. Hallelujah. Keep on meaning in your heart. Hallelujah. Yeah. No matter what come our way, you're going to have some struggle. You're going to have some doubts. You're going to have some disappointment. You're going to have some haters in your life. You're going to have people trying to stop you. It's the goodness of God that brings the people to repentance. Hallelujah. Then, after they finished the temple, hallelujah, there were the people who were released in Jerusalem earlier. Praise the Lord. The people began to take over Jerusalem. Hallelujah. That didn't, didn't care nothing about God. The Bible says they, they married strange women. Those strange women sure. took their heart away from God. Praise God. Mm -hmm. They took their heart away. That's the kind of repetitive message that we see all through the Bible. You serve God a minute, and something take your heart away from God. And the people came, and they were the grandchildren, just like we are the I believe the third or fourth generation from slavery, praise the Lord. We're a generation that we don't know anything about not having no freedom. We were born free. We got the freedom of speech. We can say whatever we want to say. Praise the Lord. We go right down there to the, to the, to the city hall building or wherever, wherever, wherever we want to go and just complain. Hallelujah. We don't understand freedom, hallelujah, because we've never been bound. Yeah. Praise the Lord. That's the gift. Yeah. Praise the Lord. We don't know what it feels like. Yeah. How you got a water fountain over here and a water fountain over here that says black. Lord, we don't understand yeah. what 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 to be bound. I mean, by the flesh feels like. Praise the Lord. We don't we don't we don't we don't we don't understand what it is to see strange fruit hanging out of the tree. Hallelujah. And that was fruitful. I guess it was the eggplant, a, a, a Negro hanging out of the tree. Praise the Lord. We don't we don't understand. Hallelujah. So therefore, we don't appreciate the freedom. Hallelujah. Because we always do. Always. And so, these people came from Jerusalem. Hallelujah. They were the grandkids. They were, they were the us. Praise the Lord. And they took on all those customs of the, of, of, of the people that had taken over Jerusalem. Just like we are here in America. Hallelujah. God wants to get right here what we purpose and we seek to do what's right. Yeah. Hallelujah. Not just be a scripture quota. Praise the Lord. Not just have on a church making soup, hallelujah, and have all the right vernacular that goes along with church. God wants the purpose in our heart to do what's right. He said in the book of Chronicles, that is my people who are called by my name, will humble themselves and pray, seek my face, and turn from their wicked ways. Then I will forgive their soul. I will heal their land. But what we do, hallelujah, what we're going to do in this dispensation is we're not careful. Hallelujah, we are, we are turned, but we won't, we, won't, we won't turn away from our wickedness. Hallelujah. We want God. And we still want our wickedness. Hallelujah. We want, we want, we want God. We want the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. But we still want the cross. Hallelujah. Yeah. We want God. Hallelujah. But we still want that. That father not in here. We want God, hallelujah. But we still want our mistress. We want God, hallelujah. But we still want the business that has been the whole for life. We want God, hallelujah. Yeah. But we won't turn away yeah. from our wickedness. Yeah. I was praying. I was praying. Hallelujah. God revealed unto me something I didn't think I was. He said, you're wicked, man. Hallelujah. You have some wicked babies. Hallelujah. Looking at yourself as a as a as a as an upstanding person. I didn't know I was wicked. But it's a lot of you got some wicked ways, man. Oh. You got some jealous and envious ways. Hallelujah. You got some ways that are not like me. Hallelujah. Right. Hallelujah. Right. Hallelujah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. You want your life to change. You want to see the power of God being manifested. 
from your wicked yes, way. That's right. They're not way here. Hallelujah. They had many. Hallelujah. Wanted so bad to be like the people who had enslaved them. Praise the Lord. We here have a problem because we want to be accepted yeah. by the people who enslaved us. Mm. It ain't nothing about the people. It ain't never been about the people. Hallelujah. It's always been about a spirit. Mm. Hallelujah. It ain't nothing that spiritual people see things other than good and evil. Yeah. God has given he, they need that our spirit to have their senses exercised to discern good and evil. They ain't no people. Hallelujah. That's what always stops us when it comes to God. We always put people in them. Like people got something to do with it. Hallelujah. We, 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 we undermine God because we look at people. In the first chapter of the book of Romans, yeah. God was telling the people, well, you knew God. You didn't glorify him as God. Neither were you thankful. Hallelujah. You worship and serve the creature more than the creator. Who is blessed forever? What that means, preacher? That means that you worship BMW, you worship that yes, ragged house, you worship them old shoes you got on, you worship your career, your your degree, you worship Hallelujah! I'm the creator. I'm the creator. All of that Hallelujah! All they did was take the metal out the ground and make some out of it. I created it. You worship the creeps. I do. He's out. He wants to turn away from our wicked ways. Yes. He told me you're wicked for not, not saying something. <laughs> yeah. I told you the same, and you ain't saying nothing. He's out. I wanted to, to embrace the way. Of the people who had enslaved them. And then Ezra told them, Hallelujah. No, nah, you can't come away. Y'all get on over there. Come on, come on. That's the same stuff that put us in bondage in the first. Y'all come. Go on, go on away from them. Yeah. Come get away from them. Yeah. Y'all, 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 y'all want that? Y'all keep that. Y'all not coming over here. Anytime I'm whooping you, get out of here. Yeah. Get out of here. <laughs> and that's what we're doing in this dispensation. Hallelujah. We want more flesh. Because the waves of sin is dead. God is doing something different in this dispensation. Hallelujah. He said, Hallelujah. God sent his own son in the likeness of sinful flesh and for sin, condemned sin in the flesh. Hallelujah. God shut down all that, all that flesh. Praise the Lord. The idea was a a beautiful idea that we don't hit anymore. You take an animal, and that animal got to give up his life so you can have sustenance, so you can eat. That, that cow got to die so you to have a meal, praise the Lord. And then a double whammy that that cow had to be sacrificed, praise the Lord, to atone for our sin. Hallelujah. That, 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 that thing was so, it was so spiritual. Hallelujah. Because they got a chance to see the process. Yeah. They got the chance to see the suffering process. And they had to see the chance to see the sorrow of this animal's neck being slit and blood running out. Yeah. Oh, to atone for the evil. Hallelujah. It was a spiritual thing. Hallelujah. That flesh was a spiritual thing. Yeah. We don't see the spirituality in it today because all people go with this. We don't see nothing getting slaughtered. Oh, Lord, we just go to Aldi. Yeah. Pick a whole pack and throw it in the cup. Throw it in the cup. We don't see the spiritual significance. Hallelujah. Oh, the flesh. And then they turned into the people just wanted to punish you. They said, Lord, you, you, you got it wrong? We, we, we got to have the flesh. We're going to take you down there and we're going to hit you in the head. We're going to hit you in the head of these rocks until you die. We're going to imprison you. We're going to take this rod. We're going to hit you with these latches. And if it came about that, let it go. He told them in the second chapter of the book of Romans. He said, do you teach 
not to steal, and you steal it. Do you teach not to fornicate, and you fornicate? And he said, oh, stop acting like you way better than no more who ain't sin. Stop acting like you way better than ones who got a reprobate mind. Right. Oh, you ain't no better than them. I got a charge against you. Mr. I know the law. Right. If it ain't in your heart, and you, you get, you're whooping on people and condemning people and telling them about they, all they wrongs and not telling them about the goodness of God, I got an issue with you. Because it's you that's causing my people to backslide yeah. with your hypocrite self. Yeah. It's you, hallelujah. What people are looking at, the church is that, oh, that's your man. Lord, is that your man right like there? I just see him down at Ebor City. That's your man. He said it's you. In that second chapter of the book of Romans, yeah. It's you that's causing my people to blaspheme my name. My God. Oh, crooked preacher. Praise the Lord. Do you not know that it's the goodness of God yes, that bringeth to repentance? Yeah. How you we're not living under the dispensation of law anymore? Thanks be unto God that we're living under the dispensation of grace. Yeah. That ain't come in this world to condemn nobody. Yeah. Hallelujah. 
is. Hallelujah. That, that the word of God for us is. Let this mind be in you. So also in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. For being in the form of God, thought it not robbery to be equal with God. That's right. And this is the part we can mess up on. But he made himself no reputation. We so concerned about our reputation. We so concerned about how people see us. Yes. We're so concerned about making an impression. Right. We're so, so hungry for attention. Yeah. Uh, look at me, look at me, generation of people. Praise the Lord, we're so thirsty. Hallelujah. For, for somebody to put our name on the paper and somebody to mention our name, we got an attitude. I made the potatoes at it. So concerned about a reputation. Hallelujah. And then that, that turns into pride. And then that works against us because God resists the proud. And give his grace to the who? Hallelujah. That's why he said the apostle Paul was talking about humility. God said in this dispensation that we have to humble ourselves. The people that are called by the name of God, they turn from their wicked ways. It might take a minute. I'm out. It might have a whole. I'm going to tear my shirt off. I'm going to tear my, my soul out of joint. I'm trying to turn from Hallelujah. wicked ways. The people, hallelujah, have been got all mixed up with pagan culture. It's hard for us to turn saints. Because we don't want to be let go of this heathen pagan culture we in. Hallelujah. And they do, they do, the enemy, he's so shrewd, he's so subtle, he, he makes it so innocent. Oh, it's the children, it's the children. They, they try to get the children. The devil's so mean, he try to get the children. Praise the Lord. These people began to worship all these. Gods of the sun and gods of the wind and god of the trees. They went in the forest and chopped down the tree, brought it in the house, and decked it with silver and gold. They want to be like them. Yeah. We want to be like them. They used to have enough common courtesy to put Christ in front of us. They used to put Christ, they had a look on the curse. They put Christ in front of Moss, worshiping the God of the trees. And not even an ex out Christ. And not even this stuff, I got to get broke because Rudolph got a light bulb stuck in his nose. Just lying to everybody. Turn away from this wicked ways. But we don't even. We, we, we question the Bible more than we question this paganism. Jesus. Hallelujah. Taken away. If, if he, Easter was a real thing in the, in the sun that I served, that was when Christ rose, what the money about? And if you going to tell me about the money, tell me the truth about the money, that the money is a battle. Hallelujah. The money had all children. Not no egg. Where the egg come from? But we question the Bible. Turn away from the wicked way. We are that generation in Ezra that got too much of this culture in us. And God said, turn away. Yeah. I mean, if, if they get the kids, then they're going to get the mom with them. Yeah. That's mean they got the father along, got the whole family. Yeah. <laughs> and I don't heard the gospel according to Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, St. Matthew, St. Mark. Who is St. Patrick? <laughs> I know Jesus turned water into wine. What well, else St. Patrick did? He drink it? <laughs> he drank all the liquor. As long as you got a green shirt on, you can just drink. And we don't question it. Hallelujah. God is saying, turn from your wicked ways. Yeah, then what's going to happen? Then your joy going to come back. Then your peace will come back. Then your whole situation will change. Why? Because then will I hear from heaven. I will forgive that sins. I will 
heal their land. I'm almost done. In the first chapter of the book of Isaiah, I want to read it right quick, like my memory the best, like a I take that back. I heard Sunday school lesson. My memory is good. Yeah, it's <laughs> it's good all the time. Hey, Amen. What an inspiring Sunday school lesson. You, you talking bars around yourself. You talking yourself into jail. Yeah. You talking yourself into sickness. You broke because you said so. Praise the Lord. I will be above and not beneath. I praise the Lord. I will be the lender. I'm tired of borrowing and loaning and all that. I want to be the lender. You can come to me to get a little something. I need to. Praise the Lord. Turn with me to the first chapter of God's Hold. He started off with the book of Isaiah saying, The vision of Isaiah, the son of Amos, which he saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem. In the days of Josiah, Jotham, Ahaz, and Hezekiah, king of Judah. Hear, O heaven, and give your ear, O earth. For the Lord hath spoken, I have nourished and brought up children, and they have rebelled against me. Good God of life. The ox know his own, and the ass his master's crib, but Israel does not know. My people does not consider. O sinful nation, and people laden with iniquity, a seed of evil doors, children that are. Corrupters, they have forsaken the Lord. They have provoked the Holy One of Israel unto anger. They have gone away backwards. Why should you be stricken anymore? You will revolt more and more. That scripture saying, God is saying, I'm, 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 I'm condemning the flesh. Why, 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 why even beat you with it? Why, 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 why keep beating on you? Why keep stoning you? Why keep hitting you with lashes? Praise the Lord. All you're going to do is revolt more. All you're going to do is bump more. Yeah. Hallelujah. I don't know. But, 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 but time with my mama. My mama, my, my, my mama, put, my mama put that belt. I can't even belt. Uh, from, the, from the Bible belt. <laughs> <laughs> the Bible didn't do it the belt. It came from the Bible belt. I remember I got about 15, maybe 16 years old. And I'm going, I'm going to get you. And I was like, I just had enough. I'm like, okay. And she was waiting down at me. Oh. I can take it now. But my, I, I, I can deal with it now. Yeah. You ain't even that strong, little no woman. I ain't going to disrespect you, but you know what? Are you finished? Uh, you, uh, you all right? Yeah. I don't believe you're going to sit back there and whack me. I'm living waste. <laughs> this don't even hurt no more. This is what God is saying to our thick neck, thick back. That's right. I'm beating on you. I'm beating on you. But you're just getting words. So we came up with a solution. Which came, which, which, which is prophecy yeah. unto right now, where he's gonna put his laws. I'm not gonna beat you no more. I'm not gonna have them take you to the outskirts of town and, 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 and stone you. I'm gonna put this thing in your heart. Yes. Praise the Lord. Amen. I'm gonna I'm I'm close the book of the law and then I'm gonna put the book inside your heart yes. that you won't sin against me. Hallelujah. I'm gonna do something different. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It, 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 it's gonna need them. Just keep condemning folk. Hallelujah. And, and, and punishing them and putting them out of the church. Hallelujah. God said, I'm the tabloid of the week. I'm going to separate them. I'm going to do another thing. Yeah. Hallelujah. I'm going I'm, I'm, I'm to pull away with the flesh. Because I'm going to be the last sacrifice. Yeah. Hallelujah. And if you confess your faults, I'm faithful and just to forgive you yeah. and cleanse you from all righteousness. You ain't got to go down there and kill nothing. Hallelujah. You don't get it anyway. Especially in dispensation. I kind of understand a little bit about, about a sacrifice when I went down the bush there to that slaughterhouse. Yeah. That gives you a different perspective on, on a sacrifice, don't it? They get them things they walk up that gate. And, and, and it's a it's a it's a it's a chain that lift them up in the air. And it's a cold blooded that guy got to be a killer. Yeah. He just sliced the neck. Next one go down, he just sliced the neck. Next one go down, he just sliced the neck. Yeah. Blood every he's standing in a pool of blood with some big rubber boots like this, and he just killed it. Yeah. And that's when 
Now the Lord and Savior allow them stuff to go through. Almost a slaughter for our wrongs. For every time we got wrong. Praise the Lord. And he did it because he loved us. Oh, 
womb is there for that. I can't have no children. I want something from God. Hallelujah. That's what God wants. I want something from God. Hallelujah. I know I got to stay close to him. Because I want something from God. Yeah, Hallelujah. He wants us to want him. Yeah. Many of us, we got all the answers. He wants us to, to want him. He wants us to love him. Because he's given us all things all that pertain to life and godliness. Thank through the knowledge of him Thank you. who have called us to glory and virtue. As we said, oh, yeah. I want to know him. Joy. I want to know his word. I, I want to know God. his law. And I want to do it. Praise the Lord. That's the important part. To do it. The rest of it is just religion. Come on, stand on your feet as we look to the Lord. I did it, y'all. It's one o'clock. Amen. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. I always, praise the Lord, ask if anybody want a closer walk with him. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. It's all right to say you haven't been doing all that you could do. You can, you can do a little more. Ain't no shame. Praise yeah. the Lord. We, 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 we're so proud. Praise the Lord. And we, we, we don't want to tell them people stuff. But the Bible says confession is good for the soul. Yeah. <laughs> Open your mouth and just tell the truth, God. I want to hear the truth. Hallelujah. And, and kind of, and kind of uh, uh, you got one foot on the foundation and another foot somewhere else. If you need a closer walk, come forward. Come on. Come on. Come to Jesus. Come to Jesus. Come. Yeah. 